here is another example of finding ix by using series parallel combination method so here this example is also look like a ladder circuit um, so not only ladder circuit for any other circuit always start solving the example from the other end of the source or other end of the um, open terminals so here i have a source so you need to start from this resistor so or if i label them r1 r2 r3 r4 r5 r6 so always start from the resistor which is far away from the source or open terminal so start from r6 now can i say r6 series with uh, r5 okay that is let me label that as r7 which is r6 plus r5 that value is 10 ohms now can i say that r7 is parallel with r4 which is 10 parallel with 10 we know that if same amount of resistors are in parallel that resistance value divided by number of resistor number of resistors that will give you the resultant resistance i'm going to take it as r8 so i'm going to redraw the circuit diagram so here is my 50 volt 2 ohm 40 ohm 5 ohm 5 ohm this is the given circuit so basically this is r8 r3 r2 and r1 now clearly i can see i can see r3 series with r8 r3 plus r8 which is i'm going to label them as r9 which is 10 ohm now r9 is parallel with r2 so 40 parallel with 10 which is 40 times 10 over 40 plus 10 that is 8 ohm i'm going to label that as r10 so if i read a circuit diagram this is what i'm going to have 50 volt 2 ohm and 8 ohm now the total resistance are totally equal to 2 plus 8 which is 10 ohm okay so i total must be 50 divided by 10 that is 5 amperes so the source is supplying 5 amperes now the source here our goal is finding the current in this branch which is far away so i have to go back uh, from bottom circuit to the top circuit to find out the current passing through it what we need to do is we need to use the current division rule okay so here i want to find the current he passing through r3 okay once i know current passing through r3 i can find the current passing through r6 so current passing through r3 i'm going to label that as i3 i3 equal to total current the current coming here is 5 amperes it's going to split into say i2 and i3 okay i3 equal to total current multiplied by opposite resistance 40 divided by these two resistors are in series so we have to make that as one resistor 40 plus 10 5 plus 5 which is 10 so 40 over 50 so this is 4 amperes so basically out of 5 amperes here 1 ampere is passing through the i'm sorry that's not right so out of 5 amperes here 1 ampere passing here 4 amperes is going there now again we have to do the current vision rule okay so my goal is finding my goal is finding current passing through this say let me label that as i6 i6 equal to total current the current entering here is 4 amperes out of 4 it's going to split through r4 divided by r4 plus r5 plus r6 r5 plus r6 they are in series so that's the reason we can take that as one resistors 4 divided by 10 over 20 that is 2 amperes so the ix here is asking for is 10 2 ampere okay that's how we solve this ladder circuit let me solve one more example 
Here is the next example. In this question, he is asking about find REB resistance between AB terminals. That arrow indicates that we are looking at the circuit from, from this AB terminals. So step one, I always label resistors R1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now, if you look at the resistor, as I mentioned, always start from the resistor, which is far away from the open terminals. So always start from R10. Can you see R10 is series with something, parallel with something? I can clearly see R9, R10 are in series because there is only one node. These two elements are connected at that node, so must be series. Another way of saying it is if the same current is passing through these two elements, those two are in series. So R11 is R9 series with uh, R10. Okay. So 5 plus 15, that is 20 ohm. Now I have that R11. I'm going to replace this R9, R10 with R11. Can I say my R11 is parallel with R8? So 20 parallel with 20 because that R11 starting point and R8 starting point is same and their ending point is also same. Okay, so 20 divided by 2, that's 10 ohm. Okay, if if we have equal value of resistors connected in parallel, then that value divided by number of resistors. So if you have 20 divided 20 parallel with 20 parallel with 20 parallel with 20, so four resistors are in parallel, same value, 20 divided by 4, that is 5 ohm. Okay, that's just an example. Now, um, it's up to you. I'm going to redraw the circuit for simplification purpose. Okay, so here is my R11. I'm sorry, I don't have this because I already connected that. This is R7, R6, R5, R4. Okay, that's a mistake. R2. R1 and R3 okay now I can clearly see R7 is parallel with R11 R7 is 10 ohm this is 10 ohm R11 is also 10 ohm we just found so 10 ohm parallel with 10 ohm which is 5 ohm now can I say once I combine R7 and R11 can I say R6 is series with R 12 okay r6 series with r12 that is 5 plus 5 that is going to, to 10 ohm okay once we found that i'm going to redraw the circuit let me label this as r13 that is r13 this is r5 r4 what is R5? R5 is 10 ohm. Okay, R13 is also 10 ohm. R14 equal to 10 parallel with 10. That value is 5 ohm. Now, I'm replacing these two resistors with R14. Now, R14 is series with R4, which is 5 plus, what is R4? I believe that is uh, 15 ohm. Okay, this is 15 ohm. That must be 20 ohm. Now I'm going to redraw the circuit. Okay, I'm going to label this as R15. So you can see R15 is parallel with R2, which is 20 parallel with 20 because R15 is 20 ohm, R2 is also 20 ohm. Okay, once I have that 10 ohm, now what is our final resistance? 2 ohm, 10 ohm, 
this value is 20 divided by 2 which is 10 ohm and 3 ohm or total equal to 2 plus 10 plus 3 which is 15 ohm okay so now I already have 15 ohm resistor why should I connect like this to make it as 15 ohm resistor as I mentioned resistor is going to produce either light or heat so basically this 15 ohm right here might be producing a light in a different room this 15 ohm is producing in different room this 2 ohms is producing in different room so all these resistors are connected at different different places to produce either heat or light so that's the reason um, that that that's the reason they connected in parallel and series parallel combination now we find the total current based on I mean total resistance based on this we can find either total current uh, or current any current in any individual resistor I will stop this video here thank you